Mom, I hate this old crappy phone. It looks just like grandma's. Why can't I have a normal phone like all my friends? Tiffany, you know your grades were bad last semester. That's why your dad took your phone away. You'd be getting straight A's in college without this. Well, guess what? You're going back without it. The only reason my grades are bad is because college is hard, not because of my phone. Ugh. That's not true. I've seen your social media. If you spent as much time on your studies as you do online, you'd have straight A's by now. Mom, there are more important things than grades, you know. You're right. That's why we're sending you to an expensive college. So you can find a husband, a rich one, from a rich family. Well, then I shouldn't need good grades, should I? No, we want him to think you're smart. That way, they can't figure out our little plan. But mom, if I'm not online, how am I supposed to meet someone? Besides, you shouldn't go to college just to meet a husband. You're so old-fashioned. The only way to meet a rich husband is in person. Everyone knows people online are so fake. Oh, I'm so glad to be sending you back to Dale. Your father and I are really proud of how well you're doing. Thanks, Mom. It's pretty cutthroat. Oh? What do you mean? Well, Mom, you don't know what it's like. I have to compete against a bunch of rich kids trying to meet their parents' expectations. Well, we may not have the kind of money other families have, but you have a big advantage with your scholarship. What does a scholarship have to do with anything? You got it on grades, not money. Your father and I know that you're smarter and you'll do better. Oh look, there's your friend from high school. Does she go to Dale too? <laughs> yeah, she goes to Dale, but she's not my friend. Why not? I've always been so nice to her, even though she comes from the wrong side of town. She's nothing but a nerd. How am I supposed to compete with people like her? Really? Is she doing well? She seems so out of her element. Ugh, yeah, she's the best in class. Ruins the grave curd for the rest of us. Tiffany doesn't like Haley because she's smart. Mom doesn't like her because she comes from a working class family. Hello, what flight? 323 for two. 323 to Chicago. What's that? Oh, that's my son, Russell. I said there were two. I'm not talking about him. What are you doing with that, that dog? Oh, Rover? He's our emotional support dog. My son's afraid to fly. Mom, don't tell her that. Oh, it's okay. We have a lot of passengers that are afraid to fly, especially after the accident. Accident? Don't worry, son. I'm sure it won't happen again. That's the right attitude. Okay, I'll put your dog in the system and you can proceed to gate 41. Passengers, please proceed to baggage claim area C. Mom, why'd you take my phone away? You know I do a lot of tutoring jobs with that. Because you've been doing so well that your father and I got you something. iPhone? <sighs> but these are expensive. How can you guys afford it? You know your dad's picked up more overtime at the station. And I appreciate that. I really do. But now that you're making extra money tutoring, we decided to go ahead and get you the phone. <laughs> Hi, how may I help you? Is this flight 323? We're supposed to be checking in our dog. Oh. Are you the one who's afraid to fly? No, I'm not afraid to fly. I'm just cautious. If that's the case, we'll go ahead and put the dog in the cargo hold. No, 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 you can't. We need to board with the dog. Well, in that case, he's going to have to go in a carrier under your seat. Look, Mom, it's Russell Brady from school. Why does that name sound familiar? It should. He's Dale's quarterback. A lot of people say he's going to make the pros. A lot of people, you know, talk is cheap. No, it isn't. His dad is Dan Brady. 
The Dan Brady? Yes, the greatest quarterback ever. You mean he was the greatest quarterback ever. He's retired now. Yeah, but he's rich. His name's on everything. Look at all the commercials he's in. But if his family's rich, you should be dating him. Why don't you go over there and talk to him? Oh, I wish I could, but he's kind of shy. It's me, Russell. Are you on your way back to school? Wait, what's he doing now? Yeah, I'm heading back to Dale now. Are you in the airport? Yeah, we just got here. Are you on flight 323? No, I'm flying northwest. Hope you can tutor me again. Without good grades, I can't do sports. I can't wait to help you again this semester. You're a lot of fun. I'd love to meet up at the airport when you land. Look, Mom, she's messaging him. Well, you should be messaging him instead. How am I supposed to do that? Well, your dad's so clever, he put your old SIM card in that thing. That way you have the same phone number. Mom, it's direct messaging, not text. Sounds good. I'll be sure to message you when I land. Flight 312, departing from New York, JFK. Now boarding at gate. H is two fours. Uh, I is three fours. Uh, now I'm back. I don't Did you get a new phone? I didn't know you could FaceTime. <sighs> oh, great. Now they're FaceTiming. FaceTiming? Hurry up, you can't let that happen. Now she's gonna get to be his girlfriend. All because of a phone? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna have any friends, a boyfriend, or a husband. Well, we can't have that, can we? I'm gonna go have a talk with her. Give me that. Okay. Mom wants to stop Haley from talking to Russell Brady. How will she do that? Mom, before we board, I'm gonna go use the ladies' room. Okay, let me watch your new phone for you. Oh no, I'm taking this with me. my mom. Mom, my new phone is missing. Uh, did you drop it? No, I just had it in the ladies room and now it's gone. Well, you better hurry up and report it to Lost and Found. <sighs> okay, I hope I'm not too late. Um, excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? Can you tell me where the Lost and Found is? Oh sure, it's down at baggage claim with the lost luggage. Baggage claim? Okay, am I gonna have time to go down there before my plane takes off? No, there's no way you can get down there and back through security. Is there anything I can help you with? Um, yeah, I think somebody took my new phone out of the ladies room. Oh, well, we can keep an eye out for it and see if anyone turns it in. Can you describe it for me? Uh, yeah, it's an iPhone Pro Max. It's purple and it's new. Hopefully someone can find it. Well, we will certainly let you know if we do. Tiffany, 
Look what your mommy got you. A new iPhone? Where'd you get this? Oh, they sell them here in the airport. But don't tell your dad. Okay, give me that crappy phone so I can put my SIM in this. That way I can message him. Oh, you don't have to do that, honey. They already did that in the store. Great, I'm gonna message him now. Be sure to tell him you're a lot more fun than those bookworm girls. Flight 445 with nonstop service to Chicago is now boarding at gate 25. We will begin boarding by group number, starting with group number one. Mom, they're gonna start boarding soon. What are we gonna do about the phone? Don't worry, I'm sure somebody will probably turn it in. Uh, excuse me. Yes? It's about my daughter. Someone took her new iPhone. Yes, ma'am. We're fully aware of it. Well, if somebody turns it in on the plane, will you return it to us? Of course we will. What row are you in? Yes, we're in 19D and E. Hey, Russell. It's me, Tiff. I missed you so much over break. Tiff? Who's Tiff? Tiff! Tiffany from Poli Sci. You don't remember me? I don't know any Tiffany from Poli Sci. Passengers, prepare for takeoff. Make sure your seatbelts are fastened and your tray tables are in the upright and locked position. Make sure your window shades are open and turn off your personal electronic devices. Oh, Mom, I better put my phone away. Don't worry about it, that's for other people. Miss, it's time to turn off the phone. Uh, yeah, 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 as soon as I'm done. No, you're done right now. Uh, what? My phone? Don't worry, I'll give it back to you at the end of the flight. You better. I went through a lot of trouble for that phone. Mom, I can't believe you got me a new phone and now it's gone. Well, maybe somebody will turn it in. Well, what am I gonna do without it? We can always send your old one back to school. But it's an iPhone 4. I can't even FaceTime with it. Well, honey, I brought you the next best thing. Really? What's that? I brought your old Apple Watch. You used to love this thing in high school. What good is a watch without a phone? Oh, look, Haley, we're almost here. Mom, this watch is paired to my new phone. What good does that do? I can ping my phone, and if it's on the plane, it'll alert it. Try it. Megan, there you are. I need help with something. Sorry, Natalie. I was dealing with the problem passenger in 23C. Well, there's been an alarm going off, and I don't know what it is. Really? Did you hear that? I did. It's coming from up there. That sounds like a phone. I took it from a passenger earlier. Excuse me, is this your missing iPhone? <gasps> yes, yes, this is my phone, thank you. See, I told you you'd get it back. Look at this, Tiffany's been logged in and she's been messaging Russell. Well, you should log out then. Oh no, I've got a better idea. Hi, it's me, Tiff. I'd really like to date you because of your money. What? My money? After all, why would anyone else want to date a stupid jock like you? I can't believe you're down here waiting for me. That's so romantic. Do I know you? 
Yeah, it's Tiffany from class. We've been messaging. Maybe you don't recognize me because I changed my hair. What? You're in my class? Passengers, please proceed to baggage claim area C. There you are. I was hoping you'd be here. Finally, for a second, I thought you didn't know who I was. I'm surprised you care what a dumb jock thinks. <laughs> hey, Russell. Oh, hey, Haley. Haley? What are you doing down here? Why do you care? Any dumb jock can tell the difference between you two. What are you talking about? I'm talking about I'm with her. Why don't you just get out of here? Come on, Mom, let's go.